Welcome to the basics of how an electric vehicle works brought to you by Mobility Evo. This video is intended to provide a high-level overview of how EVs work. The biggest noticeable difference on an EV is the charging port versus fuel filler on an internal combustion engine vehicle. This plug connects to the charging port to charge the EV. In the top left hand corner you can see the state of charge as the EV is charging. There are three levels of chargers that will dictate how quickly the EV is charged. While plugged in, most EVs or charging stations will tell you how long it will take to charge the EV. Let's dive in further to how an EV works. For this example EV, this vehicle has a front and rear motor, thus making this vehicle all-wheel drive. In the middle of your screen between the motors is the battery pack. More on that later. Let's see how the motor works. The motor is powered by the battery pack. This example EV uses an induction motor, but there are other types such as permanent magnet synchronous motors and brushless DC motors. This induction motor consists of two main components, the rotor and the stator. True to their names, the stator does not move and it creates a rotating magnetic field through alternating current from the power input that induces the rotor to turn. The motor is powered by AC power. The battery pack is charged by DC power, therefore an inverter is needed between the battery pack and the motor to convert the DC power to AC power to power the motor. Another major component is the DC to DC converter which increases or decreases the voltage to the proper level. The battery pack is made up of many individual batteries, some of which look similar to a AA battery. Because batteries have a tendency to get hot while they're in use, many modern EVs use a thermal cooling system to keep the batteries cooled and thus preserving performance and longevity. This setup has a system of coolant channels to keep the batteries at an optimal temperature. The battery pack is typically located at a low point on the vehicle which creates an extremely low center of gravity and is even used sometimes for structural rigidity. Remember, the battery pack powers the motors. Electricity powers the stator, which creates a rotating magnetic field which causes the rotor to rotate. The rotor then turns the gears, which turns the wheels. One of the many benefits of an EV includes instant maximum torque. This allows the vehicle to have a single speed transmission as you can see in the graphic. Reverse is simply reversing the rotation of the gears. This example EV has an open differential which sends equal amounts of torque to the left and right wheels. Instead of having a limited slip differential, this open differential can be managed by software to limit power if there's a loss of traction. Regenerative braking is another way to charge the battery pack. This is when the driver uses the motor as the braking system to slow slash stop the car but also recharge the battery pack. When decelerating, the motor reverses direction and uses the motor as a generator by using energy to recharge the battery pack. We hope you enjoyed this EV animation. If you like EVs and EV news, check out our free weekly EV newsletter. We'll put a link in the description.